Are you ready to see what the issue is? This is the problem. Which swimsuits am I gonna be taking to the Dominican Republic? We go on our trip in like six weeks, you guys, and I have no idea what swimsuits I should be taking with me. Now, I could go with the tried and true. I've had this one forever. It's cute, right? So it's a little tankini, it has little black bottoms. Okay, yes, no? I've had this one for a very long time. I'm leaning towards no, I don't love this one as much, but I got a big deal on it. I think I paid $6 for this top. So a lot of my swimsuits come from the brand, I think it's pronounced Hapari, like that. They're normally 70 to $100 for a top, but I always wait till there's a sale and there's like, they're on clearance or something like that. So I think I got 75% off <laughs> the sale price. So I paid like $6 for that one. I do not pay the 90 or $100, no way, Jose. I did pay more for this one. This is my current favorite. I've been wearing this one for about two years. I got this one from Down East Basics. I, I just, I love stripes, I love black and white. It's simple, it's flattering, it's really thickly lined. I wanna say I paid like 35 for this one. Okay, on to the new stuff. After I did my Cup She swimsuit video, a company called Purple She reached out to me and said, hey, do you wanna try our swimsuits? And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So they sent me four swimsuits and basically it's exactly the same as Cup She. Same prices, same swimsuits, you can still buy them on Amazon, they're exactly the same. Now, in my experience with Cup She, looking at the sizing chart of the Purple She website, all the info will be down in the description for you, I went up to a medium size-wise uh, based on their measurements. I knew the small would be too small. A lot of these swimsuits are like put together in China where their people are much smaller. In some cases that worked out and in other cases that did not work out. Let me show you what I mean. I have this. A uh, super cute floral one piece with this mesh top. I thought that would be so cute. So this showed up. It is <laughs> wide, first of all. So I would say definitely a medium. This one would probably fit true to size, but my long torso makes this one very inappropriate because guess where the mesh lands? Um, yeah, <laughs> I can't even show it to you. Like that's how inappropriate it is if you know what I'm saying so it's it's too big in the waist for me too short this way and uh, very naked through here <laughs> but I mean if you're shorter than I am I think this one would totally work it's got a cool detail in the back okay next up I was so excited about this really sporty looking one piece how cute is this swimsuit there's the back like oh my gosh you could like leave it open you could zip it up it's got removable cup pads in it i was so excited to get this swimsuit remember i got it in a medium and guess what it is way too small for me in fact i gave it to my daughter Haley. it fits her Haley, for reference is five foot five and weighs 110 pounds and this fits her but it's a medium i'm just double checking is it a medium medium that's a medium and I would say this fits like an extra small. But if I had known and gone up to a large or an extra large, this would be cute. So if you're like a really, really small person, come on, this swimsuit's cute. Striped on bottom, like teal on top one piece. Isn't that adorable? It does have the removable cup pads. And I did take a little clip wearing this swimsuit uh, about to go to the pool. So let me show you that right now. I pinned it. <laughs> Can you tell? Oh my gosh, it looks so dumb. I should probably sew it and it would work better. So look, the back is pretty open. Let's do this. So the back is pretty open like that. Oh, I still have some muscles, that's fun. I'm just wearing shorts because that's what I wear to go to the pool. It is, I feel not as cheeky as some of the others I tried on in the last video. It's cut a little lower, which is cool. I feel like my quads look Freaking huge. And my tan line still looks weird, but what are you gonna do? There you go, I think it's pretty cute. Overall, I like this swimsuit. I almost wish I had gone up to a me, sorry, this is a medium. I almost wish I had gone up to a large for the bottom section, but the top section fit really well. So this right here is why I typically wear tankinis. First of all, it's easy to go to the bathroom. <laughs> 
And second of all, I can get a different size on the bottom and on the top so they fit me a little more flattering. The problem with uh, Purple She and Cup She when I tried them is they actually don't have that many tankinis. They have bikinis and one pieces. I'd really love to see something in the middle because that's what I gravitate towards. It fits my long torso better. It's so hard to go to the bathroom in a one piece. Just me? Is it just me? Okay, I did find one tankini that they had in stock and it is this, I am doing this wrong. What in the world? Okay, okay, nope, okay. Yes, no. I'll show you the back in a second. Look at this gorgeous color. Oh my word, this color is amazing. And the back has this really pretty like crisscross detail that I can't hold very well in the back. So gorgeous. And the bottoms are also so cute. These little two piece things on the side, not super cheeky, really comfy. Remember I bought a medium and this definitely fit like a medium. It was too big for me. I could not wear it. So I did give it to my sister to wear. I'll show you that clip right now. Look how cute that swimsuit is. Oh, that is cute. I like the bottom. Look how cute that is. I really like the bottom. Just stop actually. eating your feelings. <laughs> I think this is a solid suit. Really, really gorgeous. The color's amazing. I just had the wrong size, personally, for me. My last two swimsuits are some that I bought myself. Like I said, Hapari is one of my favorite websites for swimsuits. I will link the exact suits I got down in the description box for everything. For the purple she, uh, not the old Hapari ones because they're too old, but these two new ones are still on their website as of right now, as of September 2019, they're there. There was a 75% off sale so I paid, hold on, let me do the math. I paid $17.25 for each of these two tops. I already have bottoms that match, so I didn't worry about getting that. How cute is this like tube top thing with the one strap? Oh, how cute is that, right? How cute is this? Ruching down the side, you can tie the bottoms, and then it has got a strap also that goes around the neck. $17.25 for each of these, isn't that Stunning. In fact, let's try it on right now. How cute is this? Oh my goodness. The color is my favorite. The ruching down the side, you can tie it in a little bow or leave it open however you want. What do you think? Black or navy bottoms? It's a great question. I do have this little black skirt, which would be so cute. And this one, I love this floral. It's so like, tropical or whatever. There's the back, it's pretty simple. I love that Hapari I feel like is made with really high quality fabrics. As you can see, I have several of them from many, many years ago and they last a really long time. Oh, tell me, this one or the red one? This one's kind of red too, but what's your favorite? Out of all the swimsuits I showed you, which one, let me rephrase, which ones should I take and how many should I take? Because we're gonna be at the beachfront resort for five days. Do I need five swimsuits? Do I need three swimsuits? I don't know. How many should I bring? Please tell me, please help me. Which ones and how many? I gotta start thinking luggage when it comes time to our trip because we are counting down the weeks, you guys. Okay, that's gonna wrap up this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Again, any swimsuit that is still available will be down in the description box. I really appreciate your feedback, so please leave that down below so I know which ones are gonna be the best ones for our uh, Caribbean vacation. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.